Hi, I'm Simon, and today I'm going to show you how to install a pneumatic water cannon. Okay, this is the package that a water cannon comes in. Let's cut the straps and see what's inside. Our cannons come as a complete kit. Everything you need to install them is in the box. Instruction sheet, 10 meters or 30 foot of control room. Inside this box we've got our joystick controller, spring return butterfly valve, mounting bolts, the nozzle, and of course the water cannon. This is a Heeler P651 pneumatic water cannon. To install it, we're going to need an air supply of at least 700 kPa or 100 psi, pipework capable of supporting the weight of the cannon with a 3 inch NZ 150 flange on the outlet, and most importantly, a water pump with at least 1500 litres a minute of flow or 400 US gallons. It's 400 kPa or 60 psi. If your pump doesn't have that capacity, then let us know as we have smaller nozzles available that will suit your pump better. One of the hardest parts about installing a water cannon is actually lifting it on top of the truck. So we've designed in two easy ways to get it there. One, you can use a forklift to lift the skid up next to the flange and then undo the bolts and lift the cannon on top of the flange. Or if you have access to a crane, you can use the lifting lug. Undo the bolts, lift the cannon up and mount it directly onto the flange. When installing the cannon to the flange, it's important to make sure that the butterfly valve is central and that the air fitting on the back of the actuator is underneath so water runs away from it. It's import also important to make sure that the cannon is in the correct position. Now this cannon will move 90 degrees left and right and when it's shipped it's in its leftmost position, meaning from this point it'll move 90 degrees to the right. Once you're happy with the position, secure the bolts, install the nozzle and then we're ready to start installing the control system. Once the cannon's installed, the next thing you want to do is install the, uh, the control room from the cab back to the cannon. Um, whilst this is different for every truck, there's a few fundamentals to keep in mind. Uh, keep, it, keep the loom away from any heat source. Uh, make sure it's not in a position where it'll rub through, damaging the, the loom. Um, also make sure it's well secured. Um, and if it's, a, if it's a cab over, you want to make sure that you go back to the hinge point and then into the cab. Um, once the airline is installed, the next thing you want to do is install the joystick control box. Again, this is different for every truck as well, but you want to put it in a spot that's easy to operate so you don't have to be looking at the uh, joystick to, to use it. Um, very easy to install, just air supply in the side. Then you've got your color-coded outlets on the bottom, which match up to the, uh, the colors on the loom. Just plug them in and uh, once the control side's done we go down to the back and we connect the cannon up. Installing the loom to the cannon is quite easy. All you want to do is strip about four inches of sheath off the control cable exposing the five cores inside and then just match up the colors to the bulkhead plate on the back of the cannon. Now you want to try to keep those lines as, as straight as possible avoiding any kinks And then once, once they're connected, the only other line you need to connect is this white line that comes out at the back of the bulkhead plate. That connects to the air inlet on the actuator. So the cannon's installed. We've installed our joystick, we've run our air line. The only other thing to do is to make sure the cannon doesn't foul on any object. So to do that, we just move the cannon all the way to the right. And once it's all the way to the right, we move it down. And all the way to the left. And then up again. And we just turn the water valve on. And off. So everything's working properly, we didn't hit anything. If we want to adjust the speed of the cylinders, we can control them individually so to 
two flow control valves on each cylinder and use a small screwdriver just to adjust the flow of those. Um, apart from that, we're done. We're ready to spray a bit of water. So we're done. We've got the cannon installed. We've tested it. It's working perfectly. Keep in mind, whenever you're installing a cannon, just give us a buzz if you've got any questions. But uh, yeah, it works perfectly. Check it out.